Okay, so Aaron, what we've got here is we've got a property that's uh, 12 acres, a little over 12 acres. It's got a little 800 square foot house in it. Um, the, uh, the property itself is off grid. It has solar panels. It's got a 3.6 kilowatt array, has a good live, good live working well. It, uh, it is a sustainable property. It's not too far outside of Coeur d'Alene, about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And it's a nice clean property that's got good access. You can get to it and it's priced at $150,000. $150,000 American? Yes, sir. And so what would we you never price our, pr our stuff in Canadian. <laughs> well, there's no Canadians <laughs> coming down here? Oh, there are. Oh, yeah. Okay, so tell me about why those things that you just mentioned are important for people looking to come to the redoubt. Well, the most important thing in your life is water. That's number one. So you want to make sure you've got a good water supply. The second thing is, is electricity. I mean, we use electricity as human beings now for a lot of different things, so it's important. So the solar array itself, being decent sized with a good sized battery, is something that's important you know, because it, it maintains your electricity, gives you the ability to pump water, you know, plug things in and make them work. So, you know, this is, uh, this is stuff that's just kind of important. Property itself being not too far from town, this is a good thing because you can actually get back and forth to town. You're remote, but you're not out in the wilderness. So we're coming up on the property now. What do we see here? What you see here is a small cabin that sits up in front of you, a couple of little storage buildings on the outside. On the left-hand side up there, we've got a water cistern and you got a uh, little root cellar. It's a real small one. It's like six foot by eight foot on the inside. Property itself sits up on a hilltop on a little mount. And uh, the biggest issue with this property, the worst part of it is it's got a lot of rock on it. Right. So this is the cottage, a little cabin here, and that's totally off-grid, you say? Yeah, it's completely off-grid, sure. Okay. Yeah. What, is this the cistern over here? Yeah, the cistern is right here on the right-hand side. The well is on the back side of it, so you got a well right there, you got a cistern right here. So the well pumps up to the cistern, and in an off-grid situation, that's what you'd really like to have, is a cistern. Right. And the reason for it is, is because it gives you an abundant supply of water that's sitting there all the time, and it gives you the ability to pump that water for hardly any electricity. Are those the solar panels over there? Yeah, those are the solar Can panels. take a quick look? Yeah, I'm going to take you out there. Okay, yeah. great. Do you want to go there first, or do you want to see the view down on the lake? Let's take a quick look at the, okay. the panels, and then we'll go take a look at the lake. Sure. And it is important to be close to that lake. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Lakes are good to be close by. Yes, sir. Yep. So, back here, what we've got is 48 solar panels. They total 3.6 kilowatts of power, 3,600 watts. And basically, what you see is, is homemade mounts that the solar panels fit on. They've been here for, I think, three years. They've been through some good wind storms. Because of the layout of the property, they don't get a whole lot of wind you know, going across them. They uh, put up this little fence around here, and the reason you see the fence is because moose like to scratch their backs on the bottoms of those panels. So it's not a good thing to let the moose into them. You know? But basically, just a real simple setup. There's, uh, there's, I think there's six, six racks of eight panels on each one, so it's 48 panels. Great. Okay, mm -hmm. well, let's see that view. Yep, come on. Take you and show you. Isn't it pretty? It is. I was up here about uh, a week ago and saw a nice fat black bear over there on that side. He's just standing up there looking at me. I see a lot of bear. I see, I don't know, 12 to 15 bear a month pretty much. So do you think you're going to have any trouble selling this property? No. This is a root cellar okay. right there. And it, what it is, it's a concrete tank in the ground. And basically it's small. It's, it's not a bunker. It's a root cellar. And the difference between a bunker and a root cellar is a bunker is someplace that, you know, people actually want to try to survive something in. I don't have properties with bunkers. I don't, I don't see them. You know, we see root cellars, but, you know, if you look back in history, you know, if you bought a house that was built prior to 1945 or 1950, they all had root cellars. It was an important part of life. You know, whereas now you say root cellar and the people that don't know about them, they think bunker. You know what I mean? And it's not the same thing. It really is. You know, you, you, you know, if you work all summer and you grow your food, you got to have a place to put it. You know, you got a bunch of green tomatoes. You take those green tomatoes and you put them in your root cellar and you, you let them sit there through the winter and they continue to turn red, you know, through the course of the winter. So you've got supply of tomatoes, you know. You get a supply of everything, really. The idea is, is that with a root cellar, the, uh, the uh, food that you put in there, it doesn't get hot in the summer and it doesn't get cold in the winter. It doesn't freeze because the ground itself is 54 degrees and it's trying to keep the temperature up. 
So there's uh, Kelso Lake out in the distance. And if it weren't for the, uh, for the clouds, you see the mountains covered with snow behind them. Very pretty. It is pretty. So this property makes a good prepper property because of its location and because of the way the land is, is laid out. We're on top of a hill right here. Not a big one, but a hill. So what's the advantage of the hill then? Well, it gives you advantage of, uh, you know, strategically and tactically. Sure. If you needed to defend this, you know, things got bad, say, and you wanted to make sure that anybody coming up is people that you invite, because you're on a hill, it gives you, it, it, it gives you a tactical advantage. Nice. Well, mm -hmm. thanks very much for showing me. Sure. Anytime.